Darul Aman Palace was supposed to be the greatest palace in Afghanistan, but instead it's become a symbol of the country's modern history. Over the last half century, the building has been set on fire, bombed and shelled numerous times. In 2012, the Afghan government launched a fundraising campaign to rebuild the palace and it's finally bearing fruit. This place was meant to be a beautiful square of magnificent buildings and parks full of flowers, but Afghanistan isn't really the place for that. Darul Aman Palace was built in the early 1920s as a part of King Amanullah Khan's drive to modernize Afghanistan. 16 kilometers outside Kabul, it was supposed to house the future parliament in Amanullah's new capital city. But the project failed when the king was forced from power by religious conservatives. His reforms ground to a halt. Darul Aman was damaged by fire in 1969 and again in 1978. Rebuilt in the 70s and then wrecked again as rival factions fought for power after the Soviet Union pulled out its forces. It's most telling that the palace has always suffered most at the hands of Afghans themselves. The Mujahideen fighters in the 1990s and then the Taliban in 2012. The Afghan government has worked hard to raise the money for reconstruction. Fundraising started in 2012 and $20 million have been raised so far. The building will eventually be used as a museum and a place to receive foreign dignitaries. The rehabilitation of the Darul Aman Palace is a nation's demand. It will be used as a place for high-ranking government guests to come together in special national ceremonies as well as a national museum to represent all the people of Afghanistan. After its several renovations and almost a hundred years of waiting, perhaps this time, Darul Aman will finally fulfill its destiny.